All right, I'm gonna need you to sit down for filming because I don't want to stand. It's windy and I don't want to blow off the roof. This gentle breeze is going to blow you off the roof. <laughs> All right, so what's the plan for today? Well, the plan for today is just to fix any rust up here on top of the container. We did have quite a bit of rain over the last few days, so a lot of my brackets are starting to get some surface rust, so I'll have to clean those up and do some rust converter. But other than that, there, this container was in decent shape, just a little banged up. Uh, so there's just not a whole lot of rust compared to the other ones. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of rust already. Baby, that's just surface rust. That's not, that's not yeah, rust. I know. But I'm just saying you have a lot of surface rust to clean up. Nothing to worry about. Big things are the big dings that are rusted out. That farce, that back corner is the worst. The big dings? Yeah. Big, big, <laughs> big dinger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you said it! This is by far the worst rust spot on the entire container. Just this one corner on the roof. Which you know who we might need to call for some help with this process? No. Bob Ross. Oh my god. <laughs> some of the things we used to do and say. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was just comedic gold. Yeah, I think he's definitely going to come back. I have not been on top of a container in a very long time. Now you're stuck on Spencer! <laughs> Put it back! <laughs> it's like your life depends on it. It does! I would just die up here. It's like... Nine feet off the ground. Okay, can. if you left me with no ladder and I was forced to dangle myself down. <laughs> You'd fall like a box of rocks. <laughs> no, you know what I would do? I would jump into this tree like a monkey. Yes, I would. <laughs> I think I could make it. It's hard to convert rust when you got puddles of water on top of your roof. Let me also try to bang out some of these dents that hold the water in the first place. It's funny seeing you use the broken broom from the cargo trailer. I don't have a real broom. They're like a shop broom. Right. Yeah, that's the broom that we used to sweep when we lived in the cargo trailer. Because obviously it's got a short roof in there. So this broom broke in half and it was perfect. <laughs> Gosh, that feels like so long ago. Honestly, the time that we lived in the cargo trailer... That was probably the best time of my life. I'm not trying to be funny. I just remember that summer. Bo was so little. I just, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seriously, everything was just so simple. I just, I look back at that time of our life with very fond memories.
You are just the sweetest little boy. Oh, I see Ayo. A little butt shake. <laughs> hey, Ayo. <laughs> So the other day, Spencer was able to get all the grinding done on the roof and all the rust converter on there. And then we got some rain, like a lot of it. We literally had a river going through our front yard. So now he's gonna have to get back up there and grind a couple more spots because like the one area in the corner that was really bad, I guess some surface rust did start coming back. So he's gonna have to clean that up again redo the rust converter but then he'll be all ready to start priming which i don't think we have any rain on the forecast so he should be able to get all that primer up there before we have any <laughs> that comes again oh and with this place obviously being totally open like there's so much water in the container right now this is way more water than last time isn't it what isn't this way more water than last time? No. It seems like it. Same. Like we need to get this place dried in. Right. And that actually brings me to something else I wanted to say. The other day, we got to pick up all of our windows and doors. So they're here in our other shipping container, ready to be installed. Well, like we have them, but we're not ready to install them yet. Obviously there's still a good bit of stuff that does need to be done before we're at that point, but I'm just glad they're here. <laughs> So we can eventually get rid of this swimming pool we got going on. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're walking around without a purse. Welcome back to another episode of Uncontained Painting. Glad you can join us today. The painting we are working on today is splendid, and I think you'll enjoy it. Here's a list of the colors we'll be using today. First, let me tell you about our canvas. It's a 40 foot by 8 foot high cube shipping container, but you can really use any size shipping container you'd like. This rusty metal red is really one of my favorite colors. It spreads so easy. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's quite glorious. <laughs> How's it going up there? I think I'm all done. Really? I think so. You were up there all day. My back hurts. I bet. Well, at least you're done with the roof. <laughs> now you just got the rest of the container. <laughs> well, yeah, with the rest of the container though, it doesn't have water pulling on it, so the rust isn't quite as bad. Right. So, it's only a few spots. I'm glad you're about done with the roof for now because now I can actually be around you. It's kind of difficult to film you when you're up there. I got uh, a few more things to do. It might take a couple more days. Spencer, that is so mean. <laughs> He is literally a big baby. Okay, so now the, the roof is all primed and ready to go for paint, I'm gonna start on everything else. And I'm just gonna start on the exterior because that's where most of the rust is. Inside, it's not really that bad. There's only a few spots I gotta hit. So out here, it's mostly 
this container is pretty good. It's mostly just the corners, a few spots where there's some dings and whatnot. You can kind of see right here along the bottom area. Just a few spots like that I gotta touch up. The hardest part of this whole thing is gonna be the exterior sticker. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to that. Are you gonna grind that off? Or I guess all the stickers for that matter, the numbers and everything. Oh, the actual uh, serial number or whatever on the sides, I'll probably grind those off this big sticker I remember grinding off the evergreen on the on our house and it was a pain in the butt so I think I might just take any of the loose spots where it's been damaged or it's starting to peel up and leave the rest you, you'll, you still think... you'll still subtly see it but it won't be like that bad no. yeah no I know it's a lot of work, but I think it needs to all come off. Because first of all, I think you're going to see it. And it's just asking for it to eventually peel off and then we're just going to have to repaint. Don't you agree? No, uh, I think the reason why... <laughs> it's I think the reason why it's peeled off to this point is just because it's been banged up in transport. And, and they peel off right where the container seams are like where the two panels meet and they're welded together they always peel up right there but other than that everything else is good okay who else thinks that this all needs to go not i babe there's just there's so many edges that are just they're already coming up i mean honestly you're gonna have to hit all the edges anyway because they all are peeling up so you might as well just do the whole thing Baby, it won't be hard. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite possibly the worst lighting to be trying to show a sticker on a container. It's just because you can't see it. <laughs> no, that's not what it is. It's because of the shade of the tree. <laughs> you turkey. Okay, so I want to just start here in the middle. I know it's totally random, but this has a small little strip. I don't know how successful this is going to be, but uh, figure I'd give it a try on the small section. Not too bad. Man, look how pretty that color used to be. Alright, well, I think I might use the heat gun. Yeah, who knows how it's going to be once I start getting to areas where there's a lot of uh, breakage like this. So that's probably not going to be fun, but so far so good. So this one side is totally done uh, as far as removing the stickers. And I did test out using the grinder versus the heat gun. Obviously you can see behind me which one's which. Both processes take about the same amount of time, but the grinder just makes way more mess. I mean, the only mess that you have with the heat gun is the stickers that you, you peel off by themselves where the grinder just makes a fine sticker dust that you get coated in, the side of the container gets coated in, it's just, it's not fun. Uh, but hands down, the heat gun method is, is way better. And on the other side, that's the method I'm gonna be using. It's pretty crazy seeing the original color of the container versus what it was when we got it. <laughs> it was a bit faded. Right. Spencer, seriously? What? You do this to me all the time. And now you're doing it to everyone watching this. <laughs> At least this side has so many cutouts 
that. <laughs> There's not that much sticker left. Looks like a big piece of bubble gum. This is very satisfying to watch. Until you get to spots like this and it just all goes to hell. Well, just look at the top part. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to see the immediate transformation. What did we pick up the other day? Our windows and doors. Yes. Our million windows and doors. What? One that makes million. no sense. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> so yeah, if you, uh, what was that? <laughs>